Hi everyone, in this particular tutorial, we will understand about the Minikube installation. So what is Minikube? Minikube, you can say it's a small version of the Kubernetes where you can practice uh, the cluster without going on the cloud. Okay, you can just uh, practice it, uh, it on a local machine or let's say you have a single machine, EC2 machine or any of the virtual server on top of which you, if you want to practice it. Okay, so for that purpose, you can install the Minikube. So let's go ahead and then talk about that how you can do the installation. Now here the basic requirement is that you will require a machine which basically should have a two virtual core CPUs and more than more than two GB of the RAM. So that's something the basic necessity you have. So by considering this factor, let's say if you are creating the AWS EC2 server, in that case uh, you need to choose the machine which will be above the two virtual core and uh, which will have a 2 GB of RAM, okay, more than 2 GB of RAM. And of course, one more thing requirement, requirement here we have, that is uh, the minimum space that we should have should be the 20 GB. So for practice purpose, even, you, even if you keep the 8 GB, that's fine. Now, apart from that, we will require one more virtual machine manager. And in our case, we'll be using the Docker, okay. So any one of the, you, you, you should have it. So in my case, I'm going to consider Docker as the uh, my virtual machine manager. So first of all, we will require a EC2 uh, machine to be created. And on AWS platform, I have already created a machine. You can see the configuration here, I have kept it as the T2 medium. And which machine I have created, like what is the operating system? So it is the Ubuntu operating system that I have considered. So let me show you that one as well. You can see it here, okay? So it's a Ubuntu. T2 medium machine that I have created and uh, let's follow the next instructions. Okay, so we are done with the creating of the EC2, uh, EC2 T2 medium machine uh, and that too of the Ubuntu. Next thing we will, I'm going to, as I mentioned here, that virtual machine manager will require and we are going to consider Docker. Okay, so we need to install the Docker first of all on your machines. Okay, so let's go ahead and do it. So here, for this machine, I have considered the key pair that is a Linux demo triple one. And I do have this key pair on my uh, on my downloads folder. Okay, so I will open the git bash terminal here. And here I will log into that machine first. So this is my command. And here I will first of all log into my machine. You guys can see here I have logged into this Ubuntu machine. And right now I'm logged in with the Ubuntu user. So let's go ahead and follow the next instructions. So here you see that this is the instructions to install Docker for Ubuntu. I have taken this documentation from the Docker's official website. So let's say if you are using any other operating system, so just search the Docker installation commands accordingly. So here I'll copy this commands and I will paste it here. So here I'm done pasting this all commands and these are like a prerequisite for going and installing the Docker. So next command, this particular command is supposed to actually install the Docker within my machine. So let me go ahead and, and paste that command as well. The next thing here, we have to add the uh, the Ubuntu user to the Docker group because the minikube when we'll be starting it, so that will not work with the root user. So by considering that fact here, we will be adding the Ubuntu user to the Docker group. So let's say if you are using any other user, so just make sure that you replace this Ubuntu user with your user. Okay, so I'll be using this command. So what exactly I'm doing here, I'm simply adding my user, okay, whichever user I'm logged in with, that user to the Docker group. Now this is something the basic necessity we have without adding any other user, we cannot use a Docker. So let me take this command and I will paste it here. And I'm done adding the Ubuntu user to the Docker group. The next thing here, we will be installing the Minikube stable version. Now I have taken this commands, okay, from the Minikube official document. Okay, so in fact, you can just go and Google that Minikube installation and there you should find for Linux, whatever the commands you have it, okay? I can just simply consider this all commands 
now what this command is actually doing it is simply will download the minikube linux okay once it is done it is going to install that minikube tool and after that it is also removing that particular directory okay so all things we are doing it with the single command so here i have copied the command let me go and paste it there the next thing here we are done with the installation of the minikube okay it's time to start your cluster okay so with the minikube start command you should be able to start your cluster so just copy this command and here i'll paste it okay i got some error here let's try to troubleshoot it okay so the very first thing if you see here that the error is talking about something with respect to the docker okay so it is not able to docker like put uh, any of the docker command let me try any of the like just just try with the any of the docker command so let's say if i try to use a docker images command okay you guys can see here that i'm getting the permission denied error now this error i supposed to get even at at the start okay and this error is saying that my user is not added to the docker group and that's something here we have actually provided a command for okay but what happened like whenever we this give this command we have to log in and log out again like we have to log out and log in again so to get in effect of this command so to do to do that here i'll say exit okay and i will log in back again and if i check docker images now okay you guys can see this time i didn't get any error okay so basically my user is now fully functional for a docker user great now it's time to use the minikube start command again okay so here is this is the command i will use this command to start the cluster that is a minikube cluster and here we go so you can see now in this case your command has started and it will take some few minutes to start your cluster so let's wait all right guys so here you can see now we are done with the minikube installation or like starting of the cluster and our cluster has been started successfully i can just confirm with the docker ps command to just understand is my minikube image has started running okay so with this uh, docker container okay uh, basically a minikube container has started behind the scene okay now you don't have to worry about that part okay so now next thing is we have to interact with the cluster and for that purpose we will require one more tool called as kubectl now kubectl is the command or it, it's a command line tool through which we will be giving the instructions to the your cluster okay so let's let's go and and do the next thing so here i will be installing the kubectl first to interact with my cluster so here i am giving those commands okay so we are done with the installation of commands and now next thing is i might would like to check the version of the kubectl to just confirm is my kubectl tool installed properly yes here we can say that, that yes the, the tool is installed properly next thing is that i can interact with my cluster so here this is the first command i am giving to start the one of the pod with the demo one name okay so this is a demo one pod and which will have the image as the nginx okay so with this particular command i am starting the pod that is the demo one pod and here you can see that pod one got created a uh, demo one pod got created the next thing i can just use this next command that is kubectl get pods and with this i'll confirm whether my pod is running or not and here you can see that yes my pod is running so this particular tutorial i will be upload i have uploaded to my github okay i'll paste this link in my uh, description of, of or the comment section okay you may check it out from this uh, so you will get this whole document there from there you can do it okay uh, if you like the content please do subscribe to the channel and that will motivate me thanks everyone have a good day